these are the two main bulkheads. There's an after one, which is this one here, and then the forward one. And these two go basically right next to each other in the center of the boat and therefore enable the boat to be cut into two halves to make it a nesting dinghy. So this after bulkhead is the one that I built the boat around. It was, it was installed with wires temporarily. I took it out. And the next step is to install these little pads. And these holes are where the fastening hardware goes. So these are quite important. There are these little plywood pads. I sanded the edge like this because these will get glassed over later. So that eases the edge. They're just quarter inch plywood. <clears throat> and each one of these goes in a specific location. There's four spots on each bulkhead. And these only fit one way depending on the orientation of the slot in the hole. So see that one's not right there. I actually don't know where this goes yet, but we're learning on the fly. This one goes right there. There we go. I keep the camera on what I'm doing. See that hole lines up. So these are going to get glued into place in these spots on both bulkheads, and that'll be the next step. So after laying out those little pads, I glued them in place with epoxy and more of these little alignment nails. Those just hold them in the right place. I did that dry and that makes it easy to line up when they're covered in epoxy. So those are all epoxied in place, the usual kind of epoxy mix. And it's thick enough that they don't need clamps. The nails kind of help hold it. Four of these on each of these mid bulkheads. And I have to let those cure. And then these bulkheads get glassed, sheathed in glass for strength. And that'll be the next step. The next step for the main bulkheads is to glass the whole, the whole face of the aft bulkhead. This is the face that um, faces aft. And then there's some partial glass on the forward bulkhead. The face we're looking at here is the one that faces forward, and that's the area that's mostly below the level of the foredeck. So I guess the portions that are below that level are not glassed. The plywood is epoxy coated, but it's not fully fiberglassed. There is, however, sheathing on these upper gussets for strength, and that's also above the foredeck level, which is right here. So that'll be sheathed because that'll be exposed in the boat. These lower gussets have a piece of fiberglass just for strength. And there's the other upper gusset. <clears throat> and we move, move over to the after bulkhead next to it here. This whole thing is glassed because this is all exposed. And the glass goes over these gussets. So this is one, just the just the wet out coat on this late in the day today. I'm going to do a fill coat over this glass and also on the raw plywood on the other side, on the other bulkhead. And then that'll cure overnight. And next time I can trim the excess glass and do a few final steps. So that's the continuation of the main bulkhead. After allowing the fiberglass and first coat of epoxy to cure on these bulkhead pieces for most of the day, by the end of the day it was ready for a fill coat, which you see here. The fill coat's a pretty heavy coat of epoxy rolled in, and it just covers, fills in the uh, four ounce fiberglass cloth grain weave. And that just will enable this to be sanded lightly without disturbing the cloth at all. That cloth is so light you can sand through it in a pair of seconds and then you kind of obviate the cloth. <clears throat> the forward section of the bulkhead is only glassed in a few areas up here where it's exposed above the foredeck and then these gussets to reinforce them. So the center portion is just a second coat of epoxy over the plywood. <clears throat> and in the usual way, this will get trimmed in the morning. And then there's a few more steps to prepare these bulkheads for final installation. 
this is the opposite side of the two main bulkhead sections. <clears throat> um, with the glass carrot, I trimmed the edges, sanded it flush as needed, cleaned out the holes a little bit on both of these two panels. And then using some alignment pins that came with the kit, I connect the two sections together. This is the face that faces each other. And made sure all of these fastener holes lined up and cleaned them up well. And with all that prep done, I coated these with epoxy. It's just a light coat for now in this groove. And also in all these holes. And once this cures, I can look at assembling these two pieces and getting them in the boat. This is the last major prep step before I can do that. I have to let this epoxy cure. And these are really coated now because they're stuck together later, these two panels, with some special double stick balsa material <clears throat> that gives it a little space and holds these together securely while they get installed in the boat. And this epoxy coating is so that the adhesive doesn't tear the plywood apart. So anyway, that's the next step on this bulkhead. Next time you see this, it should be in the boat. Permanently. So I spent the morning on these main bulkheads. First thing I did was, now that the epoxy was cured, I sanded everything fairly smooth. Um, this is one of the face sides. This is the forward side that we're looking at here. And I also sanded the glossy aft side that was fiberglassed and fill coated. So I sanded those pretty nice because they'll, they'll be finished surfaces, especially the aft side. And then I sanded the mating surfaces that you can't see here. But they had one coat of epoxy on the plywood. <clears throat> and that's been sanded to prepare it. And then these pieces, these two pieces are glued together temporarily with little balsa wood spacer strips that have adhesive on both sides. <clears throat> you can just see it in between the plywood layers there, a little white, kind of white looking layer on the other side. You can see the gap as the spacers in a little bit further here. But those hold the bulkheads apart the right distance for cutting the boat in half and also hold it tightly together for installation to make sure it stays aligned. I've got these alignment pins in that go in those holes that were pre-drilled in the top edges from the from the kit. And I also put bolts through these fastener holes just to help hold it. This is the aft side of the assembly. I just flipped it over. And I've masked along both edges. You saw it on the first side. This will help with cleanup. And these little sticks, you'll see when I put the bulkheads in, they extend over the gunnels and they give me a way to clamp the bulkhead in place. They're just nailed lightly to the top of the bulkheads there. So that's the aft face. Sanded it basically mostly to get the gloss off and fairly smooth. This will be painted eventually so it's a good enough sand for painting. I didn't want to go too crazy and sand through all the epoxy. So that's the bulkhead prep. Now I'll show you the boat. To prep the boat for the bulkhead installation it took several steps. First I dry fit the bulkheads made any small adjustments. I had to slightly round the corners where they pass over the chine fillets because the bulkheads had sharp corners that matched the original chines. So I just had to round them to fit the fillets. And some slight modification at the top edge where the little doubler plates are installed that contacted the hull a little bit. So just a very minor adjustment there. So after that dry fit, I put it back in, made sure everything was lined up correctly with the alignment mark in the center center line and in the slots correctly. Then I marked the hull where it hit on both sides and carefully masked it off as you see here. This masking will just help with cleanup, keep epoxy from getting everywhere when I clean it up. So it's marked around all the little doubler plates you can see. And I left the forward center line exposed and I also left a gap in the tape at the aft end just so it's easier to pull the tape from each side without running into the other side. <clears throat> and 
These little glue blocks are just here to help align the bulkhead when it gets installed because it's going to be all gooped up. So those make sure it goes down in the right place so that it basically goes down once and doesn't get squirted around at all. We want it to go down in the bonding area once and squeeze out the epoxy and once and done. So that's how the hull looks ready for installation. And installation is the next step. With all the prep work and masking and other preparations complete, I wet out the edge of the bulkhead with epoxy and also a little bit on the hull in the, in the bonding area. Then I applied a thick layer of thickened epoxy to the edges of the bulkhead while I had it on the bench. And then I put it in position here. Um, it was really quite anticlimactic, I have to say. Um, a lot of buildup and a lot of preparation and the manuals, admonitions, and so forth. But fortunately, all the preparation paid off in a very easy installation. Went right in where it was supposed to. <clears throat> I got good epoxy squeeze out all the way around. And I cleaned up the excess, removed the tape. A little, little, little uh, cleanup polishing from there. And here we are. It's in place. It does have these two clamps at the top kind of pressing it down a little bit just to make sure that it stays where it should and press firmly into all the epoxy. So it's secure overnight. And once it's cured, I can remove those clamps and move on with the gussets. There's four gussets on each side. They go where those pads are that I glued in. But I was very pleased with this installation. It went well, it fit well. No surprises. Masking definitely made cleanup easy. I still cleaned up all the excess first, but then I pulled the masking and it just left a nice clean surface. A little bit of wiping with a rag just to clean up the seam a little bit. But I'm real happy with it and look forward to it curing so I can move on with this. Been looking forward to getting this in for a while and now there's all kinds of different steps I can do to the boat from here.